the power of railwayism where tension ends and excitement begins enriching lives through selfless service as we are moving on to the next chapter today we are going to talk about who runs the rail network in the uk and there are a wide variety of bodies that have a collective role in running the rail network in the united kingdom and we start with the department for transport they are responsible for contracts with the train operators to run passenger services in the vicinities of england wales and scotland next we have transport scotland a scottish government agency that is responsible for letting contracts in scotland and then we talk about the network rail they are responsible for the management and responsibility of signal and track infrastructure rail bridges engineering work and speed restrictions then comes the office of rail regulation they ensure that all organizations that are working on railways comply with safety and health regulations next the rail accident investigation branch an independent organization that investigates rail accidents in the uk the next group is called the passenger focus they are an independent consumer watchdog they are about protecting the interest of britain's rail coach and tram passengers next is london travel watch london travel watch is a transport users watchdog statutory and independent all over london including rail journeys and the next we have is the british transport police yes usually called the btp it works for the safety and protection of railway passengers and staff throughout scotland england and wales besides that the railway employs a number of agencies for the smooth running let's see today and talk to some of those extended families who work alongside of the regular ones and who contribute if not more same as any rail staff about the railway family members let's see who do we have next good morning good morning tell us about yourself uh, my name is eddie and i've been in the railway for about 13 years now and i love it eddie tell us what has the railways taught you the railway is a different experience in life all together for me the railway has taught me humility the railway has taught me family how to how to live as a family the railway has taught me how to be humble the railway has taught me among other things how to take abuse or abuses from people <laughs> i don't even know that uncountable on so many uncountable locations what message would you give to the world the message I will give to the world is railway is a lovely place to work with. If you have a career in the railway, you will enjoy it. Take it as you see it. You will really enjoy it. Eddie, as always, you're amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you.
as we are going to meet a new member of our family. Let's see, who do we have next? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Sanjay. Tell us about yourself. Uh, I'm Glenn. I've worked in the railway for nearly 13 years, various roles, and uh, pretty much enjoyed most of the time. Glenn, tell us, what has the railway taught you? Uh, I suppose it's uh, never expect uh, what you think is going to happen. You're always going to come across uh, someone or something which uh, throws you out. Uh, there's never a dull life working on the railway. And what message would you give to the world? Uh, probably keep it simple and enjoy what you have. Glenn, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Moving on to our next family member of the railways. Let's see, who do we have now? Good morning. Good morning, Sanjay. Tell us about yourself. My name is Mary Sitole. I work for C2C. I've been with the company for 20 years. Apart from being a member of C2C, I am a mother of four and um, I enjoy being part of the C2C family. Mary, tell us, what has the railway taught you? The railway has taught me particularly that we have to be a team. We have to work together in order to keep the trains moving. It's taught me the value of transport, that it is something that is required every single day. And we've seen that during this pandemic, we have been classed as essential workers because we're transporting people from point A to B every single day. Mary, what message would you give to the world? My message to the world is value the railway, value the people that work in the railway. They are there to give a service and we are appreciate you as our passengers. So let's work together to make the world a better place. Mary, that's been amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much.
And let's see, who do we have? Another exciting member of our family. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us about yourself. My name's uh, Nigel Townend, and I've uh, uh, recently joined C2C. Uh, before that, I uh, served in the fire service for 29 years. Uh, I've just retired from the fire service, and uh, I can tell you that I'm, uh, I've bought a lot of uh, life skills from it. Uh, it taught me a lot, my time in the fire service. It taught me uh, self-discipline. It uh, taught me uh, uh, skills on how to uh, save people's lives. And uh, I feel that uh, C2C are going to benefit from that. Nigel, tell us, what has the railway taught you? The railway has uh, taught me uh, uh, the most important thing, really, is uh, uh, timekeeping and also with my self-discipline from the fire service. I've carried that on to C2C. What message would you give to the world? What message will I give to the world? Uh, whatever you do in life, uh, do it well and it makes it worth it. Nigel, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Now, we have a very, very close family member. And let's see who it is now. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us about yourself. Hello there, I'm Steve. I've been on the railway 30 years this year. I'm working for Liverpool Street, but obviously uh, use C to C every now and again. I've met some good colleagues here in my uh, travels up and down. And uh, what else you want me to say? Steve, tell us, what has the railway taught you? Uh, it's taught me to uh, have a good, good uh, socialising skills. Uh, it's been good. Um, everything else, really, I can't think of anything else more to say than that. <laughs> you, you call me Steve. Steve, <laughs> what message would you give to the world? I'll give the world uh, just, just stay happy and uh, just carry on, carry on, basically. Still, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, lots of words. Sorry. <laughs>
as we are moving on to a new member of the family, let's see who do we have now. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us about yourself. Hello, my name's Tom. I've worked on the railway for 30 years and I enjoy my job and all the colleagues that I work with. Tom, tell us what has the railways taught you? The railways taught me that even though you work in a really big company, it's good to have individual friends, you can meet new colleagues and whatever your aspirations are, you can reach them. What message would you give to the world, Tom? I would give the message to the world that each day is a precious day and you should do all the good you can and encourage as many people as you can and do as much good all the way through that day because you never know whether you're going to get a new one. Tom, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. on to our next family member let's see who do we have now good morning Penny for a cup of tea gov Penny for a cup of tea tell us about yourself I'm skin <laughs> I'm Bootsy I worked for sea to sea for 32 years I haven't been home yet <laughs> um, what else do you want to know uh, what has the railway taught you oh um, oh you've got to be a people person you got to like people. Right, uh, and I like people. I think people are funny. Underneath that uniform, that office jacket, that haircut that everybody laughs at, there's a person. And I like to know everything about them, what they do, what they like. Just, you know, interacting is great. It's part of the fun of being on the job. You meet so many different people, from the highest to the lowest. I treat them all the same. They never give me any money though. <laughs> what message would you give to the world, Butsi? Oh, well, like the last message, can't we all just get on? There's bigger things, bigger fish to fry than what you worship, what you believe in, uh, who you like or you dislike. We're all the same under the skin, we're all the same under this uniform. We've all got hopes and dreams. Some might need a bit of help getting there, others don't. Maybe we can all help each other out. How's that? Butsy, that was great. Thank you very much once again. You got any money for a cup of tea, Gaffer? <laughs>